Psalm 53 is a song about the disease of mankind. We will continue in this morning's Breakfast Bible Bites with our ongoing study of the whole gospel of Christ as it is revealed in the Psalms. Psalm 53 is replete, illuminating the unchanging gospel that is revealed within the format of the Psalm. As Charles Spurgeon put it, uh, Psalm 53 is truly a psalm that is a song about the disease of mankind, the moral hereditary taint of sin. In this psalm, the name Elohim is used exclusively. So you ask, why is that significant? And the answer is found in the understanding of the name of Elohim, which refers to God as the one and only almighty creator of heaven and earth. Keep this in mind as we dig into the significance of verse 1, where the word of God says the fool believes in his heart that there is no God who is almighty or who is a creator of everything. It all happened by chance and we evolved from some freak accident of nature. Psalm 53, 1 reads, The fool has said in his heart there is no God. They are corrupt and have committed abominable injustices. There is no one who does good. We have read back in Psalm 33, 13 through 15. The Lord looks down from heaven and sees the whole human race. From his throne he observes all who live on the earth. He made their hearts so he understands everything they do. And he is not surprised. Therefore, he devised the plan of the cross because he knows the heart of the natural born man. And he records it in Psalm 10, 3 through 4. The wicked one boasts about his own cravings. The one who is greedy cures, curses and despises the Lord. In all his scheming, the wicked arrogantly thinks there is no accountability since God does not exist. Our compassionate God devised a plan of the cross so that willing humans could be born anew and reconciled to our creator and restored to the likeness of the first man prelapse searing Adam, who was created as a tripart being, body, soul, and the spirit of his creator. As it is written here and in Psalm 14, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. And being a fool, the atheist speaks according to the natural born nature, filled with pride, arrogance, and still wanting to be his own guide, God. In, in, in God's eyes, the atheist is morally bankrupt as well as being mentally a fool in both head and heart. The laws of right and wrong are what they want them to be to accommodate their own prejudices, anarchy rules. The passage says they are corrupt and their justice is abominable. God's holy righteousness and justice as defined in the word is the only standard for all good. Since post-lapsarian mankind, that is after the fall, where humanity gained the knowledge of evil and lost the insight of God's indwelling Holy Spirit, through our inherited sin-bent nature with its propensity towards satisfying the desires of our flesh, unredeemed humanity cannot live up to God's perfect standard of good. We need to be born anew and receive a Christ-like nature along with his indwelling Holy Spirit. This is made possible through his sacrifice on the cross to all who will receive the forgiveness of the sin debt and the appeasement of the wrath of God on our behalf or the behalf of the believer who is being reconciled and invites the spirit of Christ to renew and restore our sin tainted soul.